Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you three quarters. Two, uh, we got two hours. So. One for each person that died. Here comes a car, watch out. I am in Oklahoma City. And whenever I'm in a city that has a capital, I can try to visit it try to visit all of them eventually. I got about 10 of them so far that I've been to. Sometimes they offer tours and they're there at the right time, so we're trying to get into a tour. Oklahoma City, there looks like some kind of Indian woman on the top. Foil, of course, Philip 66. We are very important people. You parked in the Senate parking lot. They call them dormitories or dorms? I, my yeah. freshman year, I stayed in Parker House. It was on the very back seat. How, how? I didn't know anything about Um, So do you usually become friends with your roommates? Of course. I'm at the University of Oklahoma. They've got the Armory, Naval and Army ROTC, Department of Military Science, and they've got what looks like a castle, little turrets and everything on it. That's kind of neat. Okay, I'm sorry if it's there's some wind sound. Um, I'm on a little mini vacation. Uh, I'm in between jobs right now, so I quit a job, I started a job, had some free time, so we took a little vacation. And so, there's a car right now coming next to me, so I feel kind of weird talking to my camera. Alright, so, I have a free hour or two. We've been doing all kinds of things in Oklahoma City. Um, we've been, you know, doing go-karts and, and uh, mini golf and stuff like that. This is a really nice hotel over there. John Q. Hammond's Conference Center. I don't know why every conference center in the Midwest has the name John Q. Hammond's, but it does. Okay, so I have a free hour or two. I see a real nice spot right down this road. I'm actually in Norman, Oklahoma. And it's kind of weird. This city, all of Oklahoma City, I'm sorry if it's windy, but all of Oklahoma City is really, really, really spread out. Like, you go, there's like, in between buildings, there's like huge spaces of nothing. It's like the exact opposite of New York City. Everything is spread out, so it's like, there's big wide spaces in between the stores. It's really weird. And, the air, I don't know if it's like this all the time, but you know, I live in St. Louis. The air in St. Louis is super humid. The air has been super dry here. So it feels like, it feels like Texas or, or it feels like Las Vegas or something like dry heat. I like it a lot more. It's way more comfortable, way more comfortable. I mean, I didn't used to think humidity was that big of a deal. It's a huge deal. It's probably 90 degrees, maybe 92, and I'm not hot at all because there's a breeze and there's no humidity. Seriously, it, me it means that much. 90 degrees in Missouri, miserable. So you see, it's all like this. There's like a building, then 50 yards building, 10, 20 yards building. You know, anywhere else, it's just building, 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 building. They're all crammed together. I don't know whether I love that or hate it. It almost looks like a lot of these buildings are out of business, you know, but they're not. It's weird. Also, it's super dry here, like, all the grass is yellow. I'm used to the grass being, like, super uh, green where I'm at in Missouri. It could just be a draw, you know, this could be an anomaly, but that's just what I see. So I've been looking for a place 
to do my uh, QRP setup. I'm just going to make at least one contact and see a tree like that wouldn't work. I mean, because I don't want to get in that brush and I want to get away from this main road here. I try to stay low-key, even though I look like a homeless guy right now. Okay, so I went over to Dick's Sporting Goods. I actually don't like Dick's that much because they're real expensive usually. Okay, so I took this up to the front counter. I said I'm going to buy this if it was cheap. It's one of those real simple foam mats for camping. Um, and I asked how much it was. She goes, well, it's 75% off, so it's $6.95. And this is what I'm talking about. You'll have a building, and a building like literally half a mile away. Then like another half a mile away, another building. It's so weird. I'm so used to buildings being crammed together. I really like that about Oklahoma City. <clears throat> also, you know, I would live here. Kind of looking around, I would actually live here. I like, kind of like it. Um, I was also going to say, uh, but part of it doesn't look thriving. A lot of it looks a little run down. There are a lot of businesses that are, you know, like you'll look over and it's like empty. Or it looks like they've been not kept up. A lot of buildings haven't been kept up. By the way, this hat has been freaking awesome. On my way down here from St. Louis, I stopped at a, an army surplus store. I paid about $15 for this hat. It's been great. So what I'm going to do is go down this little street by myself. There's a big Air Force Air, airport right here. It's not the major airport though. It, it is a big airport, but it's not the major one. It's not the major. There's also an Air Force Base. Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma City. Alright, here's that famous Southwest Oklahoma red dirt. I think I'm alone back here. I was thinking that tree right there. But I just want to kind of scout around and make sure I don't get any surprise visitors. There is a nice breeze. There's Doppler radar over there. Those big balls, there's actually two of them. I imagine, you know, they're very serious about weather here in Oklahoma, especially Oklahoma City. So there's two Doppler radars and then there's a airport tower over there. Um, all right, I've never been here. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go out into the grass though because snakes. For all I know, there's rattlesnakes down there. But I do like that I feel really alone. I don't feel like people are gonna come up on me. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go down there. Perfect. I just don't see any shade. Perfect shade right there. Crap. Oh, trying to carry all this stuff. Gotta look around, you never know. A homeless person could be living down here. Walk up, I've done that before, walked up on homeless uh, shelters. That breeze is nice. I'm so used to that dead air of Missouri. Perfect. Perfect little adventure. I'm going over that tree right there. Pull up my antenna. Kind of hide in the grass. So, I got my first QRP battle scar 
I ran into a branch over there and it poked me really hard. I just didn't hurt that bad actually. I looked down and I'm bleeding. Huh. Alright, pack tenna to my case. Up the tree, down the cordage, wrapped around that log down there. This out. I went to Goodwill again in Oklahoma City. I found this bag perfect size for my KX2. It's right in there, some kind of camera bag. It's like four dollars. A little bit high actually for a bag. It's gonna operate right on my lap like this. Lap of luxury. I don't know if the bands are dead. I can't hear anybody. I went up 7.0, uh, 40, 30, and 20 meters. I went up and down, didn't hear hardly anybody. Twelve volt, three amp hour battery. Carrying case, I got a Goodwill, four dollars. KX2, metal, aluminum case, UTC time watch. This is an atomic time watch. This guy answered me. I can't hardly copy him. Copy him. Okay, I'm sorry not to be rude or anything, but I, I mean that the coding was very sloppy or difficult, or there were there were sometimes where he had set seven dits like did 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 did. And then it was not like it was a mistake, it was like it was sent. Anyway, I'm not going to consider that a contact. I did make a contact, someone can hear me, but it was very, very weird. I'm going to go to 14060 and try to make a real contact, keep it short. I couldn't do this without this mat. I'm glad I brought it. Somebody heard me. They called my sign and I didn't quite get their sign so I, tr I guessed I'd my best at it. And then they went silent. There is a jet taking off over there. It's trying to get loud. It's kind of scary. It's not scary. That's, I just don't like being this close to, to that stuff. Man. Someone calling CQ, CQ, I answer him, silence. Okay, I decided to change things up. I was going into that tree, I decided to move it into that tree. I think that's, that'll be west, east. Now I'm pointing more to the northwest. Hey! Somebody!
real happy. Made a good contact, got a 579, K9 UCX, he's a good keyer. Signal report, we're all good. Real happy, finally made a good solid contact. I could copy him. I really wanna I really wanna tell people where I am because I think it's interesting, you know. I'll have to just I wanna tell people I'm making a YouTube video, but it's pretty Okay, um, that was Ken in Springfield, Illinois.